What is good, everybody? It is early Friday morning. It is the way of Sluggo. We're starting it off right. Jack and the Fool's scooter. Oh, hold on. Somebody needs my assistance. I hope everybody else's Friday is going pretty well. Yeah, turn down my headset because I am loud to me. There we go. Let's see what this dude needs. What's up? What's up, man? Hey, you're Song Yi, right? Hell yeah. I was racing earlier, and I would have won. But this uh -oh. guy, Tommy Han Lan, he cheated. Ran me off the road at the last minute. Can you teach him a lesson? Keep him from doing it again? Yeah, sure. He's not far. Wreck his car. That'll teach him. Once again, Wei Shen, the gangster with a heart of gold. I cannot abide a cheater. Oh, we're gonna ditch that scooter. Come over here, see what this gentleman has to say for himself. Got a little bit of a time limit here, but that ain't no thing. Oh, hey, that looks like a race car. Find a tire iron. Gosh, that doesn't sound neighborly at all. And we're going to give it the business. Kind of working way around here. Oh, I'm not getting the hood like that. There we go. Yeah. Oh, this guy's got a problem. But I have a tire iron. Got some MF Doom playing in the background here. Appreciating that. And there we go. We got a little face. Those cars are just set pieces. They're not actual cars in the game, so I'm going to hop into one of these. Once again, if you're joining me live, feel free to holler at me in the chat. Say hi. Let me know who you are. This is apparently a set piece as well. What the hell, damn guy? All right. There is a more elegant way to do that, I feel, but not for right now. Let me see here. Why don't we go see what's up with the mini bus racket? We're already messing with street racers. We might as well mess with some public transportation as well. The heart of any vital metropolitan society, I think you'll agree. So, of course, gangsters run it. They really did with this game just make one of the cities out of video games that I just enjoy living in. I just enjoy chilling, looking around. Watching all the different stuff. Back at the Golden Koi. Owned by my boss's family. There he is, Winston, the man with the fat gold chain. That's how you know he's in charge. He's also got a much nicer undershirt than the rest of us. He's wearing one of those $300 Hugh Jackman Wolverine undershirts. Where I've got the Kmart variety. You know anything about the minibus racket? Well, same as everyone. If you want to drive a good route, you pay the toll. That's right. You know the pickup on Marble Drive? The most profitable route in the whole fucking city. From now on, it's yours. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate oh, it. Oh, nice. <laughs> All right. No, guys, well, right so now, I'm officially here. getting paid out but by Winston. I am full-on a member of the Sun on Yi. I think it's fair to say. 
I'm not exactly a made man, but I'm now going to be collecting a steady paycheck. Once you know. We're going on offense. Taking over Marlboro Drive. One All man right, so I go from a minibus chase up. as my Smack first around, vehicle no mission of the game of to driving a literal bus. Rest, not declaring war. So, here we go. By me. Just go get around here. Once again, I'm going to try and drive somewhat conservatively so that I can still get as much of the cop XP as I can. Um, what's up? I'll take this one. Good job. Yeah, kick his ass. And he's just gonna lay that dude out. What? Let well, him know what time it is. Don't have to talk eyes. Should we be fighting 18k? Dog guy came after us. This is payback. Pain and simple. What if Dog Eyes complains to Big Smile Lee? What if he sends Mr. Tong after us? Look, dude. Dog Eyes might work for Lee, but Winston answers directly to Uncle Ken. Nobody going to fuck with the chair. Nobody. All right. Uh, some. Nice little bobbing and weaving, even if I say so myself. And, oh, hey, there's a whole bunch of dudes here that need uh, to be told what time it is. Conveniently, there's a phone to help me do so. Hey, one for you, too. Uh, get in there. You ain't Clark Kent. Yeah, here's one for you. Closed. Go. What do we got here? Oh, hey, what's up, dude? Hostile down. Show them, pop guy. All right, you what can you with trying this. To do? I'll give you that. Thanks. Yeah, we have another guy with us a while back. He was good with his fist too. Came out of nowhere. Good story. Didn't talk much. You remind me of him a lot. Turned oh, out yeah? he was a cop. That's why he couldn't kill anyone. See? So now we know how to spot a rat. You talk. You know that? You know what they do to traitors, right? When Tong is done with them. He buries them alive, six feet under. Nobody coming for you. Hey, fuck you, Conroy. I still think about that poor fucker sometimes. He's around this corner. Whoop, whoop. Here we come. Oh, yeah. My next stop. Let's go. No, 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 you stay here. I'll deal with this. Watch how oh, okay. the man does it. Son of a bitch. Ah, uh, but what's this? Rival bus. Is it gonna be a bus hey, chase? You want this ride, yeah. You pay for it. It's gonna be a bus chase. I already paid, don't I? I got it. Belongs to Winston now. Winston? I don't know Winston. Pull over and I'll tell you about it. You're wasting my time. How about I break your legs and see how you drive then, huh? I still drive better than you. I finish my own before you finish picking your nose. Which there must be recruiting. Dumbass pen. Okay, okay. I'm going. Alright, so I have successfully okay, harassed that guy out of doing his job. Okay. Hooray, okay. go me. And now his job is mine, There's because that's how it works. If you can, if you can get someone to just quit doing their fucking job, worry, then their job is yours. Oh, I gotta drop all these fools off, so it's time for a quick Yui. Oh, hey. Only I've got... Hang on. Got that guy out of the way. Who the hell are these guys? Uh, I got that guy out of the way. Oh, I've still got a... Oh, 
All right. Toast all those. And it's time to come around the corner here. Oh, doesn't he? Well, then he wasn't a real bus driver, was he? No, you got a real bus driver now. Go get your fucking groceries. Get off of my bus. Act like you got shit to tend to. Nice. Caught my little XP right there. Get some cash. And, uh... And it's time for me to call Jackie's uncle. First, I'm getting off of this bus. I am all drunk driving that POS around. Oh, hey, what's up? You got some ice cream for me, lady? Eat me a little ice cream, get me a little healthy gin going. Because I'm probably going to get into some hot business sooner than later. Just gonna take off down the street here because I see a place to go get a massage, which is always nice. <laughs> you got two kinds of massage parlors in the city the kind tended to exclusively by serious looking old men and the kind tended to exclusively by young women not wearing very much and I like that no matter which massage you get the in-game effect is the exact same uh, you gain face quicker in fights so that you get your extra health regen and damage done and etc etc and so now I got my face meter gain right there. Boom. So face meter gain, health regen, and a little extra damage coming from that dragon kick I drank last episode. And all my meters are full. Should be time to go have a little fun. Let's see here. Oh, right. I need to call Uncle Poe, don't I? Oh. But it's not... Okay. Oh. Well, Maybe not just yet. Go. See what's going on over here. I'm going to need a vehicle for that. I am not running 500 meters. Ah, here we go. Hey, hey oh, you know, oh, hey, 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 check it out, check it out. Cool. I'll catch you later. Ah, so I hope everybody's going to be having a cool weekend. Those of you who join me and listen to me. Regardless of whether or not you actually like talk to me. Let me know if you want. What I'm doing good, what I'm doing bad. What you like about the game. What's up? Come up here. And you'll recall that I got any young lady's face, a young officer, when I got busted last episode because I tend to get busted a lot. And then I end up with uh, individuals like this questioning me in small rooms. I'm out there until an old British man comes like in and tells him see what I can he's a dirty fucking narc. How's you can't do shit to series? him. He's just beyond the law. I'll help where I can. This is Wei Shen. He's allowed to do anything what? he likes. I'm just a little shocked. Because apparently those like are the rules when you're an undercover be cop. Off helping each other. Come on, what if you're you an undercover cop, you can do I literally can anything help. you want. And an old British man will just come bail you out of your shit. All right. Ming wants me to meet at the noodle shop. All right. Well, 
You can see right here, we got a got a real nice little uh, cast of characters here. Jackie, my friend down in the corner, Conroy, the dick that likes to think I'm an undercover cop just because I am, just because I act exactly like the last undercover cop they had, like, within the last year. Can't imagine why he is the only guy making that connection, but whatever. Oh, yeah, there's Winston Chu and his mama running the Golden Koi. Two chins, broken nose Jang, the dragon head, dirty Ming, which sounds like it ought to be a sex position you find in Urban Dictionary, but whatever. Uh, big smile Lee, dog eyes, he's got his fedora on, so you know he's a complete fucking scumbag. Vivian Liu, Ricky Wong, we'll be meeting most of these characters later. Anywho, let's get out of here. Let's go see what Ming's got for us at the noodle shop. Oh, but I see things blinking, so let's go get a blinking thing real quick. Uh, these lock boxes are going to have cash and or clothing in them. Usually both. Sometimes you get lucky and there's like a whole suit of it. Catch me. Health shrine right quick. Well, time to be on our way. To go meet Dirty Ming at the restaurant, which... That's not the way I would have preferred to do that, you know? If I'm going to meet a guy named Dirty Ming, let's not do that where my food is. But, uh, at any rate... Do, 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 do. And we are on our way. Boom. Once again, never ceases to crack me up in all these games. Plow into a parking meter. Gain like $120 in quarters, one assumes. Zoom, zoom, zoom! Whoa, okay. Hey, that uh, didn't work out real well for me there. That is not the run, jump, over things button. There we go. What's up, Dirty Ming? How's your connect? You getting everything you need? No, man. I haven't been back to Popstar since I left Dog Eyes. I'm not sure how he's gonna take it. Want me to talk to him? Yeah, yeah. I'm just about out. So grab my next shipment and make sure. Everything is cool. Yeah, no problem, man. All right. Uh, we're just gonna go square everything with this dude and his dealer. Oh, can I just pop out the other side of here? Yes, I can. Sweet. Do 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 do. do. Take another car because I'm nice like that. I'm an undercover cop, and the best way I can figure out how to do this is to bash shit with my elbows and let the alarm go off for a full minute. As you know, I'm slick. Do do do. What is up, fellas? Hey, is Popstar around? What when a nice oh. looking boy like you wants with my boyfriend? What are you kicking it over here with this dude? If this is your boyfriend. Alright. He's asking. Look, I work for Winston. Dirty Ming's operating in our territory. I want to make sure he's supplied. Sure, I'll fix him up. But. But what? I gotta get paid in advance. I'll make it easy for you. A couple of deputy junkies owe me money. Guys used to deal for me before they became their own best customer. Collect what they owe me, and I'll hook your man up. Alright, so I'm gonna do a little collection for these cats. They'll hook my man up, and it'll be all good. And I mean, really, these dudes. Oh, 
Oh, I gotta throw him into the phone booth specifically. Come here. Oh, come here. Come here, man. Come here, man. We're talking about this. In here. Respect mine. I'm the god of unpaid debts. <laughs> Time for you fuckers to pay up. I am the god of unpaid debts. My man's got some style to him. You know? He's got class like that. That's why I hop over the railing like this instead of take the stairs like a human fucking being. He's okay. One of Winston's guys. Yeah? Guess son on you will take on anyone these days. You you want a beat down? Is that what you said? Because it sounds like what you said. Best shit in Hong Kong. You got my money? Got your money. Here's your package. Tell me hey, stick with girls good day. Ming, I got your Mr. money. Cop. I said, Stay hey, good you do. day. Come over here. Come. Ming, I got your money. Stop. That's probably the funniest thing I'm going to do. Oh. Gotta get out of that. And oh, come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Get off of me. I gotta get out of here. F you, man. I'm gone. Lose the cops. Come on, man. Give me a fucking vehicle somewhere. Hey, what's up? What's up, dude? Hey. Okay, I'm not going to do that the rest of my stream, but I've got to get rid of these cops somehow, yo. I can't ram them because I'm on a fucking bike. Something tells me I could have planned this better. Oh shit, this doesn't go anywhere. Uh, hey, what's going on, fellas? I'm going this way now. Bye. See if that turnaround was enough to get rid of them. Almost, not quite. Ah, uh, he's closing in on me. This is not working out the way I'd hoped. Trying to outrun the cops on this shitty scooter. There's probably only a million better ways I could be doing this, but whatever. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Alright. Nice, 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 nice. Call Tang. Inspector Tang? What have you found? Not enough to bust Popstar, but I also met a supplier, a guy named Fang Shen. Find out where he hangs out, and I'll see if I can get something on him. I'll get back to you. Okay. A dirty Mang is going to get his special K while he hangs out at the noodle shop. And there's eight million different ways to go with that, and I can't pick one, so we're just going to go do it. Hey, dirty Mang, I got your drugs. I said, hey, dirty. Man, I got you drugs. Oh, here we go. Get that nice rumble effect whenever you ride downstairs. Uh. Ooh. Alright, sure. Why not? Let's go. Hey, what's up, dude? Oh, hey, little ma. Got the stuff, right? Don't worry, I got your stuff right here. Now I can start making money again. It's all good. There we are. And I don't quite get that last shield because I had to...
hijack a scooter. Uh, let's check out my cop upgrades. Use the Slim Jim to quickly break into cars without setting off the alarm or breaking the window. Or can disarm gun-wielding enemies without a struggle. This is super nice, but I'm not going to see any gun-wielding enemies for a little while, so I'm just going to bounce and get the Slim Jim. I can always get the other one later. And I gotta figure out where to return those statues to. Do some surveillance. And this is going to teach us one of the main side objectives of the game when it when your main side things is taken down gangs that just like I mean corner boys basically just like dudes chilling fucking slinging product out in the neighborhoods and shit and so we're gonna come up here we're gonna learn how you take down a corner in Hong Kong Hack the security camera, but I got to get these assholes out of my way first. One of them is swinging a knife around like his name is Michael fucking Myers. All right. He seems pretty normal. Let's do this. What's up, fellas? Who's going first? Shit. I'm not having a good time with this. There we go. dragon kick here. I'm gonna need to eat me something too. And the hacking is this super simple guess four game. You're gonna see real quick. Alright, so the zero goes somewhere. This always reminds me of an old Price is Right game. Okay. Six. Seven. Eight. All right. Seven. Eight. Six. There we go. Access granted. Kaboom. And then I can head back to my apartment. And check it all out. Oh, shit. I forgot this counts as a mission. Oh, well. Oh, we're going to head back to my piece of shit apartment with its bare striped mattress. I'll leave that there. Come in here, wash all the blood off of me. Always appreciated. Just, just a nice little touch. Get a little bloody when you get in fights, and uh, 
you can clean up, make Wei look like a nice gentleman when it comes time for him to go on dates and whatnot. Classy, you know? Alright, let's come over here. Access surveillance. Known triad activity in North Point. Right here. Lok Fu Park. As you can see, there's all those different screens. You'll end up doing this over and over and over again. And it never really gets particularly interesting because it's always the same thing. You're just kind of looking for... the supplier. Which... I'm actually... Not seeing him. This is weird. Because what I was going to say is this always happens the exact same way. Where there's always a guy in a suit. And he may or may not have a briefcase. Ah, there we go. And I mean, eventually it'll highlight him for you like that. But yeah, that guy just spazzed out and just wandered off all by himself for no good reason. But yeah, he, he makes the same hand motions. And he may or may not have a briefcase with him. And he almost always looks the same. But, there we go. We got them. We got them. Alright, they telling me they got him. Inspector I'm going to call him Tang here. Fang Shan is down. Popstar will have to reach out to another supplier. I'm thinking we bag them both at once. I agree. Now, if I'm going to get close to him, I'm going to need a good disguise. Can you have your people send something over? Alright, keep me informed. Got it. There we go. And I'm a dirty fucking narc doing some dirty fucking narc business. And I was successful, so congratulations. Here's a whole bunch of cop XP for you. And my psyche eval. It's, it's fine. It's probably fine. I'm definitely not struggling with all kinds of past trauma and relationships between these people and my family from when I was a child. My psyche eval is probably totally normal. I'm definitely not going to feel like I am two people in one body or torn in two directions at all times. Oh, hey. And it's time to do some gangster shit. So let's see what that's all about. Oh, no, this is my first uh, girlfriend. Excuse me, do you speak English? I like to think so. Not enough to get by anyways. You? Yeah, I... Wait, what do you mean? Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I speak English. I kind of guess. What can I do for you? I'm looking for this place, Old Temple Academy. I thought it was around here. It's supposed to be a kung fu school, but I'm totally lost. <laughs> I have no sense of direction. Yeah, I, I think I know where it is. I mean, it's not too far. I, I can give you a ride. <laughs> I mean, it'll be easier than explaining where it is. Uh. Okay, yeah, that, that'd that be really great. My name's Amanda, by the way. Or Amy. Either one is fine. Oh, well, nice to meet you, Amy. I'm way. Considering the kajillion dollars that they spent getting Emma Stone to a character that gets used precisely once and then thrown away, I, um, I didn't feel like it was particularly nice of me to step on her lines. Probably want to get the get the whole experience there. So what brings you to Hong Kong? You thinking of becoming Chinese? <laughs> no, no, I. Uh, I Insert just obligatory college. turning Japanese. Joke. You know, all right, so we're going to Club Bam Bam because that's that where called? you take all the classy American women well, that you meet when I've you're hanging out in your undershirt with all your triad weeks, tattoos so no hanging out. The take them to Club Bam Bam. But I'm checking out Hong Kong for a while. So this is the Bam Bam Club. Back home I saw a restaurant that looked a little bit like this. <laughs> Don't let the locals hear you say that. Right. But I'm checking out Hong Kong for a while. For a whole bunch of reasons. What about you? You got a uh, I wouldn't say that. You know, I got a few family issues I'm working on clearing up. Maybe once that's dealt with, I'll get on to figuring out money. Oh yeah? You got any pointers? Well, the trick to Hong Kong is learning to live by ancient Chinese wisdom. Look both ways before crossing the street. 
Always buckle your seatbelt and only apply makeup at red lights. Don't text and drive, you know, that kind of thing. Words to live? Wow. This is a pretty cool place for a kung fu school. Unfortunately, the school isn't in the temple. Well, not that temple, anyway. Didn't they use this temple as a backdrop for, what was it, Fists of Carnage? <laughs> no, it was using the grandfathers of the Shaolin Fist. I'm a huge What's nerd for Kung Fu movies, and part of this game is just a love letter to Kung Fu movies, and so I can definitely get behind that, especially when we see the outfits later on. Like, all of the special outfits you get as rewards are homages to various Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan movies, etc., etc. Do... And here is where you learn your real ass Isn't kung this school fu. school supposed to be in a temple? I love this dude. He Can is basically. You? Yeah, I'd like to sign up for some kung fu. Well, class. you'll see. I read about your school in my guidebook. Ah, uh, your guidebook. Yeah. It said you teach a style with a long lineage, but in spite of all that, it's still considered very effective. You want to take classes, oh. okay. And you... Let's be a little more offensive. Did you also read about this place in some book? Well, I... Uh... Wait. I know you. Yes, Sifu Kwa. I used to be your student. I'm Wei. Wei Shen. Wei Shen. Uh, yes. Wei motherfucking the one who Shen, went to America. son. So you brought this girl back with you. Uh, your skill level with girls, very good. Now time to assess your skill level in Kung Fu. Alright. So now I know how to lock on and whip some ass. Oh. oh, derp. Let's try again. Come on, buddy. Insert obligatory sweep the leg, Johnny. I'd never do that anyway. Oh. I prefer to just counter and then let him have the whole damn. There we go. I try to steer them in the right direction, especially the younger ones. They all want to be Song Ong Yi. Now. Just gonna now stand here red faced with my tattoos someone. hanging out once again. Try to teach them compassion and discretion. And pray for the best. See if I don't think there's much more you can do. Oh, Jade Rat. The Song Dynasty, right? Very good. The Song Dynasty? That's like a thousand years old or something. That's real? Part of a set of twelve. One for each animal of the Chinese calendar. Sifu, you used to have the whole set. What happened to the others? Stolen. By a former student. Corrupted by the triads. I'm so sorry to hear that, Sifu. So was I. Hmm. This collection meant a lot to me. But sometimes you just have to let things go. Except... That if you see. saw my previous installment, and love I have already friends. found one of these, and so for each one of those statues <laughs> okay, that I find, that I can return them to him, and he will uh, teach me another martial arts move, uh, 
And this is how I expand my list of combos and my fighting ability, etc., etc. Separate from my cop and triad experience. And since I already have that statue. I found one of your statues. There we go. The dog. Excellent. I must confess, I was surprised to see you back. I had hoped that you might have escaped Hong Kong. Escaped its influences. Its problems. We took them with us when we left. So coming back didn't change much. Are you ready to confront them now? Yes, I think so. So for each one of these you return, you get a little what bit of backstory. Like and, uh... I already know that, so... I can do a tackle strike or a charge knee that will stun opponents. We'll go ahead and do that one. This time. And so he gives me the cool story. And then, uh. Alright. Boom. Alright, so now I can. Stun folks with that. That's convenient. That'll take him out for a little bit and allow me to do some hot business. So now I have a charge knee strike I can do. And. Oh dear. Yeah, if only I had some food. Man, if somebody around here was selling noodle bowls, I would feel a lot better about this. But. Heck with it. We'll go do it anyway. Survive a couple of rounds. I might. Come All right, on, let's guy. do this. You got nothing to lose but your We're team. doing martial arts fight club. <laughs> and There we go, round one. Just throw this dude off the balcony. I mean, he's not fighting anymore. I call that a win. Round two, done. What the fuck do you want? You want more? You want more? Oh, you want more? Uh, would you like to test my kung fu? freaked out. You get that nice flinch off of them whenever your face meter is full. Free. 
There we go. So far, so good. My face meter going again, so thankfully I am regaining some life. There we go. Might actually have a chance at this. Yet another round, all right. Oh, that is a large number of individuals. No! Oh, oh, unhappy. Oh, come on. Go, martial arts club complete. Nice winner, payday. Just wrecked. I don't know. Was that like 30 dudes all together or something like that? And I got myself a special outfit, 15k, a bunch more face experience. So, yes, you've got cop experience, triad experience, face experience, and then you learn your martial arts moves by collecting those statues. So, you've only got a million ways in which to advance in this game, all of which have like a dozen options under them. So, kind of weirdly put together, but what have you, whatever. So, I think that's probably a good place to call it for today's episode. We did some stuff to help out the cops. We learned about making drug busts, wrecking corners in China. We are done with martial arts club. We have learned our first move. We have learned about collecting jade statues and all of that good stuff. Thank you so much, everybody, for checking me out and kicking it with me today. We will be back very soon with another episode of The Way of Sluggo. Catch up with me on Twitter, Saint Sluggo. This episode and other episodes will be up on YouTube, Saint Sluggo, all one word. Thanks for chilling. Cool. Love y'all. Peace out. <laughs>